Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the delocalized model of benzene. Now last time when we talked about benzene we talked about how the delocalized model came about and how Kekul was slightly wrong about his enthalpy changes. So today we're now talking about why the delocalized model is as it is and what features it has. Benzene is a cyclic hydrocarbon with six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. The six carbon atoms are arranged in a planar hexagonal ring. Each carbon atom is bonded to two other carbon atoms and one hydrogen atom. So, if you look at my diagram here, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and one is bonded to two others and one hydrogen atom here. So, one is bonded an electron there, one bonded an electron there, and sorry, two, two there. Well, it's not technically one, but since the delocalization is constantly changing the position of the double bonds, I will say two and one here. So, and the bond angle between each carbon atom is exactly 120 degrees, so it's trigonal planar, and each carbon atom has four outer shell electrons. Three electrons are being used to the bond of the two other carbon atoms and one hydrogen atom. These are called sigma bonds. This leaves a fourth outer shell electron on the 2p orbital above and below the plane of the carbon atoms. The electron on the p orbital of the carbon atom overlaps with the electrons in the p orbitals of the carbon atoms on either side. So here and here on my p orbitals, above and below, they form what I like to call the donuts, but they're actually just a series of merged pi bonds. If you don't know what a pi bond is, it's when the two p orbitals simply overlap like this to form a very big region of electron density. So I'll put E minus dense because I haven't got any room on my board. And the electron in the P So this results in the ring of electron density above and below the plane of carbon atoms. The overlap produces a system of pi bonds which spread over all six carbon atoms. The P electrons are no longer held between the carbon atoms but over the whole ring. That is the important part. All the electrons are going round and round the p orbitals, and they ne they're never in one fixed bond bonding position to form a, dub a double bond anywhere. So, in theory, all the atoms sa share the same properties of the double bond at the same time. Which is very bonkers, but it's true. It's really true. So now we're talking about the chemical reactivity. Benzene is more stable than expected than Kekul's model. So Kekul's model was 135 cyclohexatriene. So I'll put cyclohexatriene, put the numbers in the front, 135. Apologize for my rubbish writing. Now again, nice and neat. Triene. So but his ed but the energy requirement for the 135 circular hexa triene is a lot more than in benzene. But the increased st stability that means that addition reactions involving benzene are very complex. So under normal conditions, normal conditions meaning RTP and 180M pressure, benzene does not decolorize bromine water or react with strong acids like hydrochloric acid or react with the halogenes chlorine bromine or iodine because it's very very boring very 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 boring in a addition reaction electrons from the delocalized system would need to bond to the atom or group of atoms being added this would make the resulting product less stable less stable than benzene addition reactions to disrupt the delocalization of the ring structure substitution reactions are the most common types of reaction because benzene retains the delocalization and thus the product is more chemically stable. I'll talk more about these next tutorial. Next tutorial. So if we have a quick example, substitution reactions, I will place one of my hydrogen atoms on the outside with an R group. I'll call R like benzoic acid will be C double bond O H. Pretty much anything that can be substituted, it will be substituted, but we need to know what the addition reaction and substitution reaction is so we don't go all tits up when it's at the ground time. 
So an addition reaction is one in which a reaction is added to an unsaturated molecule to make a saturated mo a saturated molecule, and a substitution reaction is one in which an atom or group of atoms is replaced with a different atom or groups of atoms, delocalized electrons are shared between more than two atoms. So that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching my tutorial, and I hope this was useful. More on the substitution reactions of benzene next tutorial. Stop.